Good morning. Back again. Back again. <laughs> so, no cruising this weekend because we had a party. <laughs> <laughs> we had the annual birth holders party. Um, free lunch. Yeah, free lunch, free drinks. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> um, gathering of lots of people from the marina so that was nice and we have literally cleaned the boat from top to bottom yeah washed the roof scrubbed the roof cleaned inside <coughs> so hands and knees like this the scrubbing <laughs> brush to get all the marks off all the leaves bugs poo all the windows so now we have a dilemma well not a dilemma but Lots of uh, boaters welcome spiders <laughs> into their boats. I don't mind. Because the spiders eat the flies. Now, I'm trying to get on board with that because I don't particularly like spiders. Um, and there's, there's been a fair few, but unfortunately for me, the last draw came when <laughs> I pulled back the duvet and a spider was sharing the bed with me. Uh-oh. No. That can't happen, spiders. I'm sorry. You can Screams. come in, but you do not get in my bed. <laughs> There's a lot of screaming. A lot of and shouting. I do, I do have a good reason for that as well, because I did get bitten by a spider many years ago. People think you can't get bitten by spiders, but if they find a soft, fleshy bit, you can get bitten. And my whole hand swelled up to twice the size. Tarantula. That is absolutely true. I don't know what bit me, but I'm not taking the chance. So we've sort of identified some, obviously we're not going to stop spiders getting in completely. The big door. <laughs> yeah. Big door at the other end. Duck hatch. <laughs> but over the summer, we um, got some fly netting and we used magnets on the outside of some of the windows um, and put mm. some fly netting up, um, which is very similar to this stuff that we have here. Um, and it just really enabled cool. us to um, be able to like open the windows when we were in sort of a, a meadowy area. Um, oh, we could take the window right out, couldn't you, we? We can take the window right out. That was the right idea, out. take yeah. the window right out and we wouldn't get bugs and anything flying in. Yeah, that's right. So, so that was Good quite work. successful. So then we had a bit of a cunning plan. So. Obviously, you have mushroom events, and uh, this is the mushroom from or one of our mushrooms. Um, and then inside the vents, as you look up, you have these, which has quite a lot of cobwebs on it when you I now <laughs> look. Oh, yeah. Um, and this is supposed to obviously stop, I guess, bugs and stuff coming in, but you can see the holes are massive. So it's just to stop debris coming in, yeah. flying across the roof and dropping through your mushrooms. That's all it would stop. Yeah, so obviously bugs, creepy crawlies, namely spiders, can get in through here. So we've bought more of this um, fly mesh here. Um, and we're going to put a link in the description where you can get it from. It's really, really cheap. And the idea is we are going to cut... Some... Oh, no, I've got it hooked now. <laughs> Rip holes in it. Rip holes in it. So that We're everything... going to cut circles using this as the template. Um, drop it in to the mushrooms. Through um, the top. Through the holes um, with just a little blob of silicon so it doesn't blow away. And hopefully... We'll still get the airflow, but because it's very fine, um, you won't get your spiders. Won't get the spiders. That is the plan. The other plan is as well because obviously on boats you have to have ventilation, so both um, the stern and the bow doors have vents in them. So we're planning to do the same thing: take the vents off, um, and then pop a little bit of this meshing into the hull so it still get ventilation we'll straight behind the metal plate well, yeah behind the metal plate screw it screw back through on. it and again we're yeah, held in place hopefully it's just um just will stop probably quite big spiders could come in through those vents actually well, the ones quite, behind on the doors yeah they're quite um yeah quite they're... large so that's our plan basic sort of t transparent silicon some fly meshing and um See if we can bug proof the boat. Well, a little bit bug proof. Stop the big ones coming in because I ain't Do sure in my bed. <laughs> Let's see what happens. 
So this um, wire mesh, if you try and sort of hold it on, on the fly netting, it just gets stuck to it. So I'm going to make a little template. I mean, it's not a perfect circle or anything, but just literally. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Try and draw around it. In a minute, morphs coming out. <laughs> I am by no means an arts and crafts person. Right, look at that. That's fabulous, isn't it? I know. It's and okay. uh, <laughs> just try and cut that out more like a circle, maybe. <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> it's it's okay. only a rough idea. It doesn't really matter. Right, there you go. That's my atrocious circle. Is it still big enough? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah that perfect. Day. That's fine. Now, so, this will be the fun So this part. is a metre by metre, this fly netting. So there's like plenty here. This is going to be very fun. Mm-hmm. So I think what I'll do is I'm going to cut out a square, first of all. And then just try and literally hold it. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> this won't be as easy as I first thought. Actually, I think maybe if I hold it and cut, that might be easier. It's working, it's working. It's not fab, but it's working. I feel like we need some scene music going on here for my Arts and Crafts Club. Arts and Crafts Club you're starting now. Yeah. <laughs> I am a teacher, but thankfully not an art teacher. As my students would tell you when I try and draw diagrams on the board. Right, okay, so isn't... Which is now making lots of screwing noises. It's bigger, but... And it's quite ropey, but it doesn't really matter as long as we're able to drop it in and get some silicon on there, that's absolutely fine. So, excellent. Okay, after removing the vents, um, with this stuff sort of shrinks and um, sort of, not frays, but it's quite difficult to work with. And in the pack, it does come with some sort of um, very thin Velcro sticky stuff. So we're going to put the Velcro sticky stuff on here, attach this, then we can trim it to size and then screw it back onto the door. I think that's probably the easiest way of doing it. For the vents, for the yeah, vents. it doesn't matter yeah, for, not the for the mushroom. mushrooms. It doesn't matter, but mushrooms for the door just... vents, I think that's probably the easiest way. So we're going to give that a go. Okay, progress. <laughs> so, in the words of Blue Peter, Here's one I made earlier. <laughs> Ta -da! Ta -da. So, I've used the double-sided sort of Velcro, which is really thin, so it's not gonna sort of hamper the functionality, shall we say, of the vent. And literally had this cut, probably a little bit bigger than the size. And if I just bring this down so you can see what I'm doing. So literally lay it, over, which is a little bit fiddly. Here comes the dog. So you sort of lay it and it does grip it, which is good. Try and sort of pull it as I lay it down. Sorry, quite noisy. And then 
because of the way this sort of stuff is, it sort of shrinks a little bit. So you can literally just use the edge of the um, vent to, to cut around and it worked quite well actually. Oh, this one needs a bit of a trim up. I'll give that a trim up in a minute, but you can see that when we put it on, that um, the screws will go straight through the mesh as well. Perfect. So we thought we'd give you some feedback to see whether or not the um, bug proofing worked. Um, and we've given it sort of, I think, three weeks now. Three weeks. Um, yeah, to see sort of... Um, that's right, the dog's coming along. No, it's all right. Um, yeah, to see sort of how many creepy crawlies we got in, really. Um, the first week, first week of um, coming back and sort of opening the curtains I was a bit disappointed because there were sort of cobwebs all over the windows I was like oh no maybe it didn't yeah, work we had spiders we had some spiders so um but then we had um been out hadn't we I think we'd been to a, a bit of a buggy area I can't remember can't where we'd remember been out. Up, but, but, yeah, um, got a bit. so and sort of left over maybe from our travels around so we sort of uh evicted the spiders <laughs> there um, you go <laughs> <laughs> and hoovered up the cobwebs sort of cleaned, cleaned up, up had a had a good clean and then since then there's not been any evidence of spiders no we've just been less and less haven't it? We've, yeah. we've sort of taken them out as they run across the floor and they haven't been back and today when we got to the boat today there's nothing no, there's nothing no at all. cobwebs no nothing no not not a single cobweb. I mean, so, we had a reoccurring cobweb over by the kitchen, didn't we? That's yeah, it's gone. It's gone. Hasn't come back. All gone. Um, so I think it has worked. And even though we've still had um, the stern doors open, yeah, maybe one or two got in last last time. Yeah, but, but not. No. They're not crawling in when it's just moored up and left. Yeah, so because we would come back to loads of cobwebs, wouldn't we? We would, yeah, so it and seems... And you'd find them in the bed and scream. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and even, bearing in mind, um, we had lots of tree falling on us and spiders and stuff, haven't we, in, in the meantime of that? So, um, <laughs> a lot of yeah, trees. Literally, Nothing. not a, co a single cobweb. So it looks like our little um, ingenious bug-proofing system... Has worked. Has worked. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> no more chasing spiders. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, hopefully you um, might find that a little bit informative <laughs> and might uh, decide to bug-proof your own boat. Good plan. And, uh, like always, if you 
enjoy what we do. Uh oh, here Two we go. Two looms again. on a wide Sorry. beam. <laughs> Give us a little cheeky like and subscribe to us because uh, that would make us happy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. See you next time. Bye.